Hello and welcome to the virtual open day for the equine studies courses. Today we're going to be discussing the study programmes for all equine courses, the entry requirements for each course and the necessary kit that you will need to buy. If anyone watching this has not applied and you would like to, please can you visit the website, find the course you would like to apply for and click apply. If you'd like a one-to-one -one before applying, contact us on the live chat facility on the website to request one. So the equine facilities we have at Hoffel College. We've got a new equine unit that opened in January 2017. It has provision to house 24 horses. Um, of them 24, eight of them are full liveries that the students will muck out, catch, turn out, but they don't get ridden or used in lessons. And the other 16 are either working liveries, lone horses, or belong to the college. These are the horses that students will deal with on a daily basis, mucking out, grooming, riding, lunging anything required of the course. So all the students are actively involved in the husbandry and routine tasks of the horses on a day to day basis. As I've just said, the students will be grooming them, mucking out, providing food and water, along with riding and other lessons. The teaching facilities we have include a range of horses which meet the abilities of students from an entry level course right up to a level three technical diploma. We have an indoor and an outdoor arena with BS standard show jumps, an indoor horse walker and a variety of further resources to enable both practical and theory lessons at the equine unit. Now when you enrol on an equine course you're actually enrolling on a study programme. This includes your vocational qualification, in this case it's the equine qualification, but it will also include maths and English. If you do not achieve a grade four, you must continue to do maths and English until you achieve this. Attendance is very important and there may be some opportunities to resit in the first few months of the course. You will also be required to attend a tutorial program. This involves meeting with your progression coach once a week to carry out pastoral syllabus and discuss any issues that you may be having. There's also work experience. Now this is mandatory for all courses to achieve your qualification. Some of the work experience is in house, some of the work experience is at an external placement, but we'll discuss more about that later. All equine students will also have to complete stable duties. Now stable duties or rotor duties as they're sometimes called are putting your skills into practice. All of the courses have practical assessments so it's a regular lesson that involves the basic horse care skills such as mucking out, grooming, tidying the muck heap, sweeping the yard, filling hay nets, making feeds, cleaning tack, everything that you need to be able to go out and work in the industry that you would be doing on a daily basis. There are several different equine courses that are available to you. Um, we start with an entry level three skills for working life. Then there's a level one land based diploma in horse care, followed by a level two technical certificate in equine care. And then finally, a level three advanced technical diploma or a level three extended advanced technical diploma in equine management. The level three is um, either a one year or a two year course depending on if you do the advanced technical or the extended advanced technical. Now where you can start on these courses depends on the GCSE results and any prior experience with horses. 
we look a bit more into that on the next few slides. So the entry level and level one courses. Entry level three, the skills for working life, is a portfolio based course with practical assessment. It has a generic health and safety um, unit and it also has some units to do with small animals. On this course, students must complete in-house work experience. So all of their work experience is done on the equine unit at Hoffel and there are no formal entry requirements. So if students don't have any GCSEs or don't have any horse experience, this would be an ideal course to get the students started. The next course is the level one in land based diploma in horse care. Now, this is a technical bridging course with a health and safety exam and an industrial experience exam. There are written and practical assessments and assignments which have to be completed under exam conditions. And it's a good course to prepare students for the technical certificate. It also includes some small animal care units. The students on this course must complete 60 hours of work experience. Now, this has to be at an external placement, which we'll discuss a little bit more about shortly. Um, so their work experience isn't done at the equine unit. The entry requirements for this course are four GCSEs, grade one to nine, and some practical experience with horses before starting the course. The level two technical certificate in equine care. This involves a multiple choice health and safety exam, a main course exam, which again is multiple choice at this level. A synoptic assessment. The synoptic assessment is a series of written and practical tasks that have to be completed under exam conditions within a four week time period. There is also optional units to complete. These are assessed throughout the year with some written and practical assessments. And all students on this course must complete 150 hours of external work experience. The entry requirements for this course are four GCSEs at grade three or above, including maths, English and science. You should also have some good practical experience with horses before coming on this course. You should be able to put on a head collar, fit a saddle and bridle, have experience with mucking out and grooming horses. The level three extended advanced technical diploma in horse in equine management. So this is a two year course. Your first year is the advanced technical diploma. The second year is the extended advanced technical diploma. The two years is the equivalent to three A levels. You can stop after the first year and just complete the advanced technical diploma. On this course, there is a multiple choice health and safety exam. This will be completed in the first year only. There is a written biology exam. Again, this is completed in the first year. There are written main course exams, one for the first year, one for the second year. And there are synoptic assessments, again, one at the end of the first year, one at the end of the second year. The synoptic assessment is similar to the level two with a series of written and practical tasks that have to be completed under exam conditions within a period of four weeks. There are also optional units which are assessed throughout the year with written and practical assessments. Again, students on these courses must complete 150 hours of work experience. Again, this should be at an external work placement. The entry requirements for this course 
are five GCSEs at grade four or above, including English, maths and science. And all students need to have a certain degree of practical experience. So again, students should be confident fitting head collars, saddles, bridles, some experience of fitting exercise boots, perhaps some lunging experience, confident mucking out and confident working round a variety of horses. All students on any equine course need the correct uniform and kit. This kit involves a black riding hat or skull cap up to the correct standard. All hats will be checked at the start of the course to make sure they meet current standards. Black jodhpur boots with a steel toe cap and a thin sole so they can be used for riding. Nobody is allowed on our equine yard without steel toe cap boots on. Black jodhpurs or breeches. Um, you are allowed to wear black riding tights, but you are not allowed black jeans or normal black leggings. Black half chaps, black gloves, a white long sleeve shirt and a black tie, which will be used for assessments. And then from the college, you can buy a polo shirt and a fleece. These are to be worn on a day to day basis. When you're on the equine unit, no hoodies, no jewellery, no piercings, no false nails and your hair should be tied in a bun at all times if it is shoulder length or longer. It does get rather cold in the winter so you are allowed to wear a jacket over the top of your uniform. If you could make sure this is a jacket, a waterproof warm equine jacket without a hood or a hood that tucks away, that would be ideal. A little bit more information about work experience. So as we've said, all learners must complete work experience. Level one to level three, complete external work experience. Um, Level two and level three, we ask students to go out one day a week. Level one, students go out on a two week block around about Easter time. The placement must be willing to be health and safety checked and have employers liability insurance and students must be supervised at all times when on placement. We do ask students to source their own placement However, if they have trouble, we do have a work placement officer and the course lecturer can offer help. Work experience is an integral part of the course. You are able to put into practice the practical skills that you have learned and see how the industry works. It also helps people decide if it is the right place for them. And very often our students get part time jobs from doing work experience or they'll move on at the end of their course to an apprenticeship with their work placement. So it does open other options as well. Progression throughout the courses. Um, in order to progress to the next level, you must have high levels of attendance and punctuality throughout the course, excellent behaviour throughout the academic year, pass all modules on the course, and then a successful completion of an end of year test and a mock synoptic. They must be confidently and competently assessed by staff to be at an acceptable industry speed and standard to move up to the next level of course. Individuals will be assessed on a case by case basis. Um, to progress on to level three, you must have at least one GCSE in maths or English at grade four, with the other being at grade three. At the Hoffel Equine Unit, we do have a weight limit for all of our horses. This is due to welfare issues. Our maximum weight limit is 14 stone. This is the weight that the horse would be carrying, so it includes the rider, 
in their riding equipment, their steel toe cap riding boots and a riding hat. It is in line with horse welfare recommendations published by the BHS and the Riding for the Disabled Association. All learners will be weighed before riding can commence and they will subsequently be weighed every half term. We understand that it is a sensitive issue and alternatives will be offered. A full qualification can be gained through a non-riding option. Any learners that don't want to be weighed, it's not a problem, but they will not be able to ride. They will be able to complete the course with the non-riding option. Future after equine. So the options people have after completing equine courses with us, they could go straight out into employment. They could move on to an apprenticeship. They could go on to university. There are opportunities to visit universities for taster days whilst on our courses. We also get universities to come into the court, come into Hoffel and East Durham College to give talks and careers days and answer questions. You could also move on to other college courses. You are entitled to free education until you're 19. And you could move on to further training, looking at the British Horse Society route. Um, employment after equine. So there is a range of equine careers in the area. As I've previously said, work experience can open links to local employers. And we also get employer engagement where employers come in to the course to give talks, demonstrations and allow students to ask questions about their areas. Apprenticeships, we offer level two and level three apprenticeships. Local employers must be willing to pay £90 a week and the assessor or the trainer will come out to the employer and do your training whilst you're on the job. You may have to come into college for some training or to complete maths and English. The university option. There is a range of universities across the country offering equine courses, such as Harper Adams, Ask and Bryan, Rittle, Hartbury, Bishop Burton, and Royal Agricultural University, just to name a few. The selection of courses you could look into would be rehabilitation, equine science, equine management, physiotherapy, bloodstock or equine business management. Again, there are other courses and your level three course will get you UCAS points which are required for the different courses. I would advise you to check the university for their entry requirements um, for the individual course and individual university to make sure you are doing the right course to get you to where you want to be. We're all about getting the best out of you. Our college slogan is creating outstanding futures. This is for a reason. And that's why you can expect all of the following at East Durham College. Industry specialists as your tutors, dedicated progression coaches assigned to you, high expectations and outcomes for progress, attendance, attitude and behaviour. Our open door policy, come and see us at any time. Full and rounded programme of study and additional specialist support. Live your bus life. Thanks to our partnership with Arriva, Eastern College students get free bus travel to and from college on any Arriva bus service. Arriva provides our own ED buses, which travel around the local area, but you can get on any bus if one of the ED services does not come near you. If you don't have an Arriva service near you, not to worry. The college can reimburse you if you use other bus services instead. If you want any more information about any of the courses or college life or anything else, you can contact us using the following methods. 
live chat on our website or contact student services by calling 0191 518 or you can send an email to enquiries at eastdurham.ac.uk. If you are not sure what course you'd like to join, speak to one of our fully qualified careers advisors. Again, contact student services and we can arrange a meeting with one of them for you. Thank you for watching.